some cotton farming technology, cotton harvesting, cultivation, and processing in the factory. Cotton is considered one of the most lucrative products. The operations start with plucking the cotton leaves from the trees. But before the plucking process begins, the trees are sparkled with chemicals. During this process, the machine in the shape of a tractor abolishes the moisture, and leaves removal is a must process for cotton production because the process deteriorates the pigment on its fiber. The process of harvesting is carried by a single machine that can perform the duties of 50 hand-picking workers alone. There are mainly two systematic machinery processes for harvesting cotton. First, the plucking or picking system directs the machine to swallow the cotton from the plant. And second, the stripper system grinds the plant and absorbs air. This is done to separate the plant's leftovers from the cotton mixed with the cotton. Once the said process is carried out successfully, then it's time for the cotton to be transformed into a hay shape. These machines have the capacity to shape 13 to 15 cotton bales if the material is water resistant. This shaping process is done on farms. This process continues until the material gets the perfect shape, which is the indication of the material is prepared. Each bale is 2.5 meters in diameter, while each of them weighs about two and a half tons. Once the harvesting process is completed, a designated truck with three to four functions picks the cotton bales and takes them to the further processing unit. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give a thumbs up to this video. This plant also has some serious threats for dispensing the worsening quality of cotton. The foremost threat is said to be the mismanagement of pests that can be a barrier to low yields. Most of the time, the prepared bales are picked in one go so that it saves time. Several trucks at a single time carry the bales into the processing units. After they arrive in the processing unit, the seals are torn and the cleaning process is initiated to clean the cotton from minuscule particles of dust and trash that were avoided during turning them into bales. This is what the cotton processing units look like, or you can say the cotton making factories. They're automated types of machines every way round. After the cleaning process, a series of pipes emit cotton to the machines that are known as gin stands. This machine isolates the seeds from the sponge of cotton, which is called lint, there are 116 internal saws that are attached to the machines in a horizontal manner distinguished by steel. Then the pipes emit the lint towards the pressing section, where these are forwarded to a machine called a tramper that transforms the received material into a bale-shaped box. When the bale gains a weight of 500 pounds, the machine automatically lifts it. Then the processing machine treats the bales by wrapping them down. Then the wrap bale is shipped toward the next machine that takes samples from each side and the bales are sent to the packaging unit where it's packed in a plastic bag for protection while the sample is accumulated in a bin. An ID number is printed on the bale while the sample is taken back from the bin. This process is called cotton spinning. This is now the extra cleaning procedures of carbon being done. The machines for this purpose are manufactured by micro tufts. This process focuses on fibers and distinguishes the trash through a carding machine. This machine does the task to purely clean the cotton for plating and knitting, and this is why this is the process that's stressed in a great manner. The fibers are then explored by various machines and converted into soft yarn. The yarns are then integrated to form the fabric. The weaving process is the combination of several stages that are as follows. Winding, warping, sizing, drawing, weaving, and ultimately, the fabric is generated.
The factory utilizes machines to ensure the quality of the fabric through automated testing and magnifying machines. After getting the quality cotton in hand, it's dyed in various colors as per the market demand. Mostly solid colors are preferred for piece dyeing. A long length of fabric is passed through a hot dye solution. After all these discussed processes and stages, the cotton that was grown and harvested from the fields becomes ready for preparing garment suits now. The garments are then packed and emitted toward the inventory storing section. Cotton is cultivated in the spring. It eventually has intensive growth in summers while the crop is picked in autumn. Besides, it depends on the climactic conditions of a country. The previous statement may be true for some countries. While in countries with different climactic conditions, it may be planted and harvested in other seasons or times. Cotton is used to manufacture several essential products, such as clothes, fishnets, coffee filters, book binding, paper and archival papers. The bales that we showed you in the video can produce the following items that are 2100 pairs of boxer shirts, 3000 baby napkins, 215 pairs of jeans, 1200 t-shirts, 4300 pairs of socks, and 250 single bed sheets. Now coming to the cotton industry, India is the leading cotton producing country in the entire globe. Respectively, China, the United States, Pakistan, Uzbekistan, etc. have also listed themselves as the most cotton-producing countries. Since cotton is an essential material for the production of essential goods, this is why every country is focusing to build the domestic industries of cotton into the major exporter of this particular crop. It's a material whose demand is very high, and so is a lucrative crop that, if grown well, certain a yielding income generation source. Due to this reason, the countries are facilitating the farmers with modern types of machinery and modern agricultural techniques that ultimately benefit each party that's involved in cotton production. Please let us know in the comments section what you want to watch in the upcoming videos.